The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Hallandale takes on Blanche Ely tonight on School Duel. Welcome to School Duel, where 24 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now, tonight's game features Hallandale High versus Blanche Ely High in what should be quite a showdown. And to provide an environment as safe as possible, as you can see, we are all wearing masks. Okay, before we begin, let me tell you what these students are playing for. First off, both teams will win beautiful trophies, courtesy of our sponsors, EDCO Awards and Specialties. Thank you, EDCO. And for the runner-up tonight, each player from that school will receive $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star. And last but not least, for the winners, well, each of these students will walk away with free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. All right, let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike, and in this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. First question deals with authors. What American author's works include The Man That Corrupted Hadleyburg, The Prince and the Pauper, and The Adventures of Tom Sawyer? That would be Mark Twain. Our next question deals with video games. He was called Jumpman when he appeared in the original Donkey Kong. Name this, Jameson? Mario. Correct, good job. All right, next question deals with diseases. What genetic disease common among European royalty is characterized by a lack of clotting factors, meaning that any minor injury will bleed? Juanica? Hemophilia. Very good. All right, world leaders. She was in power from 2005 until 2021, leading her people to nickname her the Eternal Chancellor. Yes, Jameson? Uh, Queen Elizabeth? Incorrect. Blanche Ely, can you identify this German leader who recently stepped down? Her name is Angela Merkel. All right, let's move on to homophones. Spelled one way, it can mean a cut of meat from a cow. Identify this word that's spelled another way can mean something you might stab a vampire with or, Jameson? A steak. Very good. All right, inventors. His 15th century invention fell into the hands of his creditors, but his name is still linked with the movable type process he invented. Name this German inventor. It's Gutenberg. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by the Museum of Discovery and Science in Fort Lauderdale. Here, our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. People who made this common object with white phosphorus used to develop Fossy Jaw, a serious health disorder. Yes, Jameson? A match. Very good, excellent. And the two main types of matches are safety matches, which can be lit by striking them against a special surface on their box, and strike anywhere matches, which can be lit by striking them against any surface that creates friction. Mythology. His name is the same in both Roman and Greek myth. Name this twin brother of Diana, who was both the Roman god of healing and the Greek god of music. It's also the first name of the boxer Rocky, fought in the first film of the franchise. Sebastian? Apollo. Yes, very good. All right, state capitals. Settled by Quakers in colonial days, what state capital is the home of Thomas Edison State University and the 11th most populous city in New Jersey? That would be Trenton. Oh, 
there's our horn. That means the end to our first strike round. We do have Hallandale leading with 40 points. Blanche Ely has 10 points, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. Junior Achievement provides a curriculum where students can build and prepare how to be accomplished, successful adults. It's a budgeting, financial literacy, personal finance program that we're doing with the school system. They're going to play out life scenarios, really learning how to live out a lifestyle uh, within their means and budget. The kids learn it and they bring it back home and it really helps the entire family. And it begins to start impacting schools and it'll impact our nation. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Welcome back to School Duel. The first round of action ended with Houndell leading. They have 40 points. Blanche Ely has 10 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Let's start with the Houndell Chargers. Welcome. <laughs> we will start off with Jameson, who's a senior. So the question today is, is there a career field you're looking at going into? Yes, I would like to do something in accounting or culinary. Oh, very nice. All right, next to you is Juanica, who's a sophomore. Same question, is there a career field you're looking to go into? Um, yeah, I would like to go into forensic science. All right, and the captain of Hallandale's team is Aziz, your senior. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm interested in going into a, a career in computer science or entrepreneurship. Very nice. All right, let's meet your competitors there, the Blanche Ely Tigers, welcome. And we're gonna start with Fiera, who's a senior. Question of the day, what do you plan on doing career-wise? Um, my goal is to become a physician. Lovely, I like it. Next to you is Sebastian, who's a senior. Same question to you. Um, I wanna become an anesthesiologist. All right. And last but not least, the captain of Blanche Ely's team is Kayla, who's a senior. Take it away. I would love to do something in finance. All right, I like it. Big round of applause, let's hear it for both schools. <laughs> Okay, now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the joust that's presented by public supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head to head with a toss up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it's time to joust. We'll start with our captains, Aziz and Kayla. Here's your toss up question, it's worth 10 points. Its Republic was founded in 509 BC and ended in 27 BC when its Senate converted it to an empire. Name this city-state whose first emperor was Augustus Caesar. Yes, Aziz. The Roman Empire. Very good. All right, Hallandale. Following bonus questions all deal with Roman emperors. Bonus question number one, Hallandale. The city of Constantinople was established in 330 AD during this emperor's reign. Name him. Aziz. Caesar. It's Constantine. Bonus question number two. Although he was definitely not a good emperor, it's just a myth that this man played the fiddle while Rome burned in 64 AD. Aziz. 
Caesar. Incorrect. It's Nero. Bonus question number three. The name of this emperor, who died in 307 AD, is also the first name of Professor Snape in the Harry Potter series. Aziz? Caesar. Incorrect, it's Severus. All right, Juanica, Sebastian, here's your toss-up question. It's worth 10 points. The late actor David Prowse is most famous today for playing what villainous movie character who was voiced by James Earl Jones? Sebastian. Darth Vader. Yes, very good. The following bonus questions all deal with the career of David Prowse. Bonus question number one. As a young man, Prowse was a bodybuilder and became friends with this Austrian strongman who later became an actor and served as governor of California for a while. Sebastian. Uh, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Very good. Bonus question number two. Prowse also got to know Lou Ferrigno, a bodybuilder who got famous playing this superhero who emerges when Dr. Bruce Banner gets angry. Yes, Sebastian. The Hulk. Yes. Bonus question number three. Prowse played the Minotaur in two 1970s episodes of this British sci-fi TV series whose main character has been played by 13 different people. Yes, Sebastian. Doctor Who? Yes, excellent, good job. All right, my last two, Jameson and Fiera. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. The 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics went to Roger Penrose, Reinhard Genzel, and Andrea Gates, who all studied this lack of color astronomical phenomenon that contains a singularity. That would be the black hole. Here's your other question. Black holes are formed when these objects collapse. Examples include Altair, Sirius, and our sun. Fiera? Matter? Incorrect, Hallandale? Okay, that would be stars. That buzzer means the end to the joust. We currently have a tie game. Both teams have 50-50, and we will be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Three, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible.
Welcome back to School Duel, where local high schools match wits. Today's game has Houndell High competing against Blanche Ely High. Currently, our score is tied. Both schools have 50 points. It is time for the rapid action round. And during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Since we have a tie during the break, we did a coin toss and Hallandale will go first with their questions while Blanche Ely will be outside the studios for their turn with the same questions after. Now today's category is starts with U as in uniform. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter U as in uniform and each question is worth 10 points. Now remember Hallandale, you must answer these quickly or the judge is going to move you on. So here comes rapid action. Let's cue music and begin. An institution of higher learning that is larger than a college. Jameson. University. Adjective for a vote where everyone agrees. Aziz. Universal. Three letter container for cremated remains. Jameson. An er. Baseball's equivalent of a referee. Aziz. An usher. Harriet Tubman was a conductor of these networks that helped slaves James, James Underground Sam? Railroad. Function that's control Z in Microsoft Word. Aziz. Undo. Middle Eastern nation with capital Abu Dhabi. Aziz. Uganda. Canine turn for someone who is expected to lose. Aziz. Underdog. The national animal of Scotland is this mythical horned Yes, Jameson? Unicorn. The state of being without a weapon? Jameson. Unarmed. All right, good job, Helen Dell. We got through all of your questions. All right, now with a little TV magic, let's go in and bring in Blanche Ely. Welcome back, Blanche Ely. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with U as in uniform. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter U as in uniform, and each question is worth 10 points. Now remember, you must answer them quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's go ahead and cue music and let's begin, Blanche Ely. An institution of higher learning that is larger than a college. Sebastian. University. Uni Adjective for a vote where everyone agrees. Kayla. Unanimous. Three letter container for cremated remains. Fiera. Urn. Baseball's equivalent of a referee. Kayla. Umpire. Harriet Tubman was a conductor of this network that helped slaves, Kayla. Underground Railroad. Function that's control Z in Microsoft Word. Sebastian. Uh, undo. Middle Eastern nation with capital Abu Dhabi. Kayla. United Arab Emirates. Canine term for someone who is expected to lose. Sebastian. Underdog. The national animal of Scotland is this mythical horned horse. Sebastian. Unicorn. The state of being without a weapon. Sebastian. Unarmed. All right, good job. That ends the rapid action round. We do have Blanche Ely leading. They have 150 points and Hallandale has 120 points. So don't go anywhere. We will be back for the final showdown to see which school wins this school duel game. Junior Achievement provides a curriculum where students can build and prepare how to be accomplished, successful adults. It's a budgeting, financial literacy, personal finance program that we're doing with the school system. They're going to play out life scenarios, really learning how to live out a lifestyle uh, within their means and budget. The kids learn it and they bring it back home and it really helps the entire family. And it begins to start impacting schools and it'll impact our nation.
Lincoln TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. And we've got a good game going as Blanche Ely is holding on to their lead over Hallandale. Now, over the break, it was brought to my attention by the judges that Hallandale's answer of er versus earn was incorrect, even though it was credited as correct. So we had to adjust the score. Our current score is Blanche Ely with 150 points, and Hallandale has 110 points. It is now time for the final showdown, and this is the last round. Schools go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are worth 20 points. Just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. Now this is for the win. It is time for the final showdown. <laughs> Historical poems. In a Longfellow poem, what Boston silversmith said, one if by land, two if by sea, that's Paul Revere. Combinations, what two drinks are combined to make an Arnold Palmer beverage? Jameson. Iced tea and lemonade. New York, what New York village is home to the Baseball Hall of Fame and is named for the father of American author James Fenimore? Aziz. Boston. Incorrect, Blanche Ely. Yes, Fiera. Brooklyn. Incorrect, it's Cooperstown. The eye. For a blue-eyed person, which part of the eye is actually blue? Aziz? The iris. Poets. What American poet's works include fire and ice, mending wall, and the road not taken? Yes, Jameson? Avatar. Incorrect, Blanche Lee. It's Robert Frost. Shapes. A stop sign is always what shape? Aziz. An octagon. Sitcoms. What NBC sitcom that ended last year starred Melissa Fumero and Andy Samberg as detectives in its New York City police precinct? Sebastian. Blue Blood. Incorrect. Hallandale. Jameson. Law and Order. Incorrect. It's Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Italy. In 1906, Walt Volcano erupted, destroying parts of Naples. More than 1,800 yes, Fiera. Pompeii. Incorrect, Hallandale. In 1906, Walt Volcano erupted, destroying parts of Naples more than 1,800 years after it destroyed Pompeii. Aziz? Pompeo? Incorrect, it's Mount Vesuvius. The Supreme Court. What 1966 Supreme Court decision established that prisoners must be advised of their rights before being questioned by, yes, Aziz? Miranda rights. Elements. The enamel in your teeth contains phosphate combined with what alkaline earth element with atomic number 20 that is also found in your bones? Fiera? Calcium. Fast math. What is the square root of 2,500? That'll be 50. Art. American artist Grant Wood is most famous for what painting that features his sister standing next to a local dentist who is holding a pitchfork? Sebastian. The Farmers. Incorrect, Hallandale. Aziz. The Farmers? No, it's American Gothic. Basketball. What is the magical sounding name of the NBA team that plays in Washington, D.C.? Juanica. Wizards. Opera. Name the comic opera by Gilbert and Sullivan in which Frederick falls in love with Mabel, whose father is the very model of a modern major general. It's the Pirates of Penzance. Numbers, rounded to two decimal places, what is the value of the irrational number pi? Yes, Jameson? 3.14. Geography, name the mountain range that stretches from Monaco to Slovenia, passing through France, Germany, and Austria along the way. Sebastian. The Appalachians. Incorrect, Hallandale. That's the Alps Mountains. Shakespeare, 
which Shakespeare play includes Ophelia, Gertrude, and the Skull of York? Aziz? Romeo and Juliet. No, Blanche Lee. That would be Hamlet. Comic books. What comic book hero's enemies include Calendar Man, Mr. Freeze, Bane? Yes, Sebastian? Batman? Yes. Weather. If a hurricane appears in the northern Pacific Ocean, it is not called a hurricane, but what other name? Aziz? A tropical storm. Incorrect. Blanche Lee? Sebastian? A tornado. Incorrect. It's a typhoon. Spanish. What is the Spanish word for Monday? Sebastian. Lunes. Excellent. Oh, that sound brings an end to this school duel game as Houndell is going on to winning. They're ending with 230 points. Blanche Gilly has 210 points. So congratulations to Houndell. You each have won Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Congratulations. And of course, great job to everyone. So let's hear it for both schools. Now at this time, we want to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible, and of course, you at home for watching. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved, and you can watch past shows. And please remember to use hashtag SchoolDuel to contact us through social media. And most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel. Thursday at 8 p.m. is North Miami High takes on G Holmes Braddock High in what should be another great game. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.